Hey guys, for sure you here. In today's video, we're gonna be unboxing a really cheap iPhone 8 that we bought off eBay a couple days ago and came today. Just wanna to unbox to show you guys what kind of phones you can get off eBay at a really good discounted prices that we have bought in the past and wanna share the knowledge with you guys as well. And we'll leave the link in the description section if you guys are looking to buy a pre own iPhone at a discounted price and just to show you the condition that you can expect from it. So as you can see, it came in this priority mailbox. I just have the label covered up with the personal information. But basically, whenever you order a phone, it will come within a couple of days. And we'll share with you guys a couple of things to gonna be mindful whenever you're purchasing off eBay or Amazon as well, which we did other a review video for you guys. So I'm going to go ahead and try to unbox this and see what we have here. So let's dive right into it. So first thing first here, I'm going to go ahead and try to unbox this here. Um, so I'm going to use a pen here since I don't have a scissor handy. Just need to take this tape off. So let's go ahead and unbox this phone here. And let's go ahead and take some bubble wrappers here. Phone. And then this is probably the label of the purse. And then more bubble wrap so that's all so here as you can see here the only thing i got with this phone was just the phone itself and it's iphone 8 which again not a bad deal this one was around 80 dollars or so so it's a pretty good deal for iphone 8 i think because again the phone is still pretty relevant still a good device and it does upgrade to the latest ios version so if you're looking for a backup phone or looking for a phone for maybe a child or someone older that doesn't really care about having the latest and paying like a thousand dollars for so the iphone 8 comes in so as you can see here putting the bubble wrap away so the iphone 8 this is the black edition one here as you can see the back here pretty clean for the most part say the side here and then this side here the top here and then the side of the button and then the screen itself Again, the screen is pretty clean here. If you look very closely, you can see really light scratches, nothing deep here. Of course, it is a used phone, so don't expect it to be clean, but there's no cracks, anything like that. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to power this on. Hopefully it does have charge. If not, well, I'm gonna have to charge it and then get back here. So it does look like it's turning on, so it probably has charge. Sometimes when you buy used phones, because they've been in the process of storage or has been moving around through the supply chain, it might just be dead and you may need to charge it. Look, here they didn't give a charger cable, so we'll have to buy a charger cable ourselves or use existing charger. So you can see here, we're at the main screen here. I can go ahead and set up the device just to make sure that everything's working. We're gonna test out to make sure it's fully functional. And then I'll just share with you guys a couple things about buying off eBay so you guys don't get scam or anything like that which is a big thing we hear all the time about people worrying that they might get scammed but generally nowadays you don't really get that so you're gonna go to a connection here so i'm just putting the wi-fi password here for the phone so i'm just covering that up just so i can I'm going to go through this. So as you can see, it's activating right now. And then we're going to go through the steps to set it up really quick without putting our information in just to get to the home screen. A couple things when you're buying from eBay, always check uh, the seller has a lot of good ratings. So you generally I prefer a seller that has at least a thousand or more ratings. Also make sure that the seller is offering at least a 30 day return policy again, which is going to be listed on the listing itself. Also read the condition of the phone. You want to make sure the phone is used or seller refurbished, those are usually good. You don't want to buy anything that's parts or are broken. Sometimes on eBay, people can actually sell things that are broken, especially phones. So you don't want to buy any of that. And you got to make sure the phone, they mentioned that it's been tested, fully functional. Most sellers that sell a lot of devices will tell you that. So as you can see, I'm trying to set this up without actually adding any of this. But if you're setting it up, make sure you go through, set all of this up, which, you know, you're going to put your personal details like Apple ID and things like that. As you can see, I'm going through the process here, just getting agree here. And for the most part, I'm just going through all of this really quick, but these are pretty basic stuff if you're setting up iPhone. 
and follow along. And as you can see here, I'm at the main screen here. I just verified the phone doesn't have any sort of lock or any personal account for the previous use. So I can use it myself without any issues. And then we're gonna good to go. I'm gonna check the battery health. So let's see how the battery health. So the battery health here is 99%, which is amazing considering this is iPhone 8. It probably was lightly used. Again, generally when you buy phones, most phones will have uh, generally above 85 or 80 or so. Apple recommends if you get underneath that to replace the battery. But for a phone, if you're buying older phones, expect it to have a more deteriorated battery, which is normal. It just isn't going to be as a new battery. But 99% on iPhone 8, I think that is pretty much steel. So whenever you get the phone, make sure you check things out like the camera. You're going to make sure the front camera and the back camera is working and make sure the video is working. You're going to make sure like the microphone is working, which you'll know once you start putting in if you put your sim card in and start calling and texting you'll automatically know pretty much if there's any issues with it like things like this you can pretty much detect right away which again you can do it yourself and then you know a couple things which we'll include a link in the description section on how to test out a phone if it's fully functional things like buttons as well you know sure all of that working lock screen all of that touch id make sure all of that is working fully functional so a couple of tips again to recap if you're buying it off ebay make sure you guys check out the discounted link in the description section do after you get it you know make sure that they have at least a 30-day return policy because if they do if there's any issues with it you can pretty much return it and get your money back so make sure the other thing you want to also make sure we forgot to mention is make sure the phone is either unlocked for any carrier or it is for your carrier because sometimes Sellers will sell phones specifically for certain carriers. And if you don't have that, the phone is locked to that carrier. You won't be able to use phone service. So make sure it's A, unlocked, or B, it is a carrier that you're going to be using it on. And once you have those, generally you'll be fine. We bought a ton of phone from eBay and generally never had any issues. And if we did, we returned it and got our money back. So hopefully you guys enjoyed this quick unboxing of a cheap iPhone 8 from eBay. If so, make sure to like and subscribe button. Let us know what next phone you want us to do unboxing for you guys. Thanks for watching. See you guys next time.